so as Annette said, my, my task is to, to sort of try to relate what, what we know from basic science nowadays uh, to the more clinical oriented work, which is definitely not an easy task. Uh, what I am going to try to do is to, to give you sort of the way that we look at things, uh, the mechanisms behind the different changes in muscle tone that we see, and try to give you some uh, handles on uh, how to think about this also in relation to uh, treatment. Uh, I think some of what I'm going to say is going to be a little bit controversial uh, when compared to the way that you look at things normally in the clinic. And this is where I think that we have a, an opportunity to actually discuss things and uh, see if we can end up agreeing at least partly on some of those issues. Um, so I think also probably the best thing might be to uh, take the questions or the uh, counter-arguments uh, as I go along rather than to wait until the end. So you're more than welcome to interrupt uh, on the way and uh, then we can uh, discuss things as I go along.